You know Danny DeVito's in the music video? Like, no joke. No joke, Danny DeVito is in the music video. One second. I'll get you proof. I do actually have a game, by the way. I found one. Uh, one second. Let me find it. Ghostbusters Danny DeVito. There he is. Oh, fuck. And John Candy? Holy shit! It's a GIF! Holy shit, it's a GIF. Holy shit, the John Candy one's a GIF, too. What the fuck? How many people are in this fucking music video? Holy shit, Chevy Chase? Jeffrey Tambor? Wow, they... Yeah. Here's the John Candy one. <laughs> Here, I hope this GIF works. It does. Ghostbusters! <laughs> there he is! Well, you know what we gotta do now. That's absolutely not leaving this design all Halloween. That's absolutely staying here. There we go. There we go. Ghostbusters! <laughs> Perfect. Let me just make it a little transparent, and then we'll be all set. Ghostbusters! Nice! Hells yeah! <laughs> Alright, we're good now. Uh, alright! He does. He's like a tiny bab. Alright, so I got a game here. I'm gonna hop in the voice chat, because I don't... Uh, need to not be in the voice chat for this. Uh, but I'm not gonna hop in just yet. I'm gonna let you guys see what I'm playing first, and then I'll be in there. So, let's get started. Oh, that's not right. Why is it... Why is it like that? Why is it a cube? Why cube? Why are you, why are you cube? Uh, okay. One sec. I don't know why all of a sudden it's like that. Composite, other. Standard definition. Why cube? Why is it, why is it cube? Okay, that's really weird. I don't know why it's cube. Okay. Oh, that that was weird. Hold on. Video input. Like the cropping is still all set. Convert standard definition to six forty byte. Oh, weird. Okay, that was that was weird. I I unchecked it and then rechecked it and it fixed itself. Yeah, we're playing Lugie's Mansion again. Congratulations, you did it, boop. No, I got something else on mind. Uh, let me, let me, let's see what we got. We got, a uh, Mario Kart? No, that's not. Metal Gear? No. Namco? No. Paper Mario? No, that's not spooky. None of these are, none of these are spooky. Wait. Yes. No, wait a minute. Shadow. No, wait. Wait a second. Right there to the left. What's that? Hmm. Hmm. What could this be? Help Scooby-Doo solve the mystery of who kidnapped the Mystery Ink game. Hmm. I think we'll pick this one. Let's see what this is about. So, full clarity here. Tiffany owned this game for the original, the old Xbox, the classic Xbox. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> what? 
What is a boob? What? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Uh, this is a game that Tiffany had for the original Xbox. This is not that copy. This is for the GameCube. Yeah, apparently. This is for the GameCube. Holy shit, wait. That was the company that made the SpongeBob game. The, the Battle for Bikini Bottom, the really good one. This is Skooksy Skooksy Skoo. There he is. It's the Skooks himself. Oh, I'm already spooked by these graphics. Alright, so this is... I remember liking this game. I also remember there being a certain villain in this that I'm not... I'm not exactly fond of. Uh, and I don't remember if he's actually in the theme song or not. He is. He is. Oh, I'm looking away. I'm looking away. Oh, I didn't look away. <laughs> I didn't look away. <laughs> uh, still fucking freaks me out, man. Alright, welcome back to S Skooks. Night of 100 Frights. Press stocked. Alright, stocked is being pressed. I don't know if this is going to be one that we play all the way through. Might be. This is one of Don Knotts' last roles, by the way. He's in this. He's like, well, hi, Scoob! Was that the SpongeBob guy? What? They're all the wallet man. What? <laughs> Ma Man Ray? Are you talking about Man Ray? Theatrical trailer. What? No! 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 Anyways. Slammed with the copyright immediately. You smell that salty sea air, Scoob? You know what that oh, is that actually Casey funny? Kasem? Yeah. Oh god, this game is fucking Seafood. dark. Holy Fried shit. Clams. It's one of those, Luna huh? Crack crabs. Runa salad. Jumbo shrimp. Runa sushi. Alright, you two. Don't forget the real reason we're here. Go lobster bisque. Lobster bisque! No. Is there? I can't even hear it. Can you guys hear it well? I might have to turn mine up. There we go. Brightness should be good now. And she could really use our help. Look, there she is now. Look, there she is now. That's the girl that Daphne's gonna be making out with. Boop, you predicted it. Hey, Daphne. I'm so glad you could make Hey Daphne, we're both great a while. So the audio is good. Why are there no subtitles? Really? And what mystery is that? It's my uncle, the famous inventor, Professor Alexander Graham. He was just about to Alexander Graham Bell? When he disappeared without a trace. No one saw him leave Mystic Manor, and no one will help me search the premises. It don't tell me. Because it's haunted, right? Yeah, Shaggy. How do you know? Because it's always haunted. Oh, Shaggy. Jeepers. Don't worry, Holly. We'll help you. You stop out. that. You said it, Daphne. We're not afraid. Right, gang? Wrong. Yeah. Like me and Scoob have seen this show before. You guys can go poking around scaring up some spooksters. But we're staying right here in the old mystery machine. Only ghost free and I remember this game actually being actually like really good. <laughs> and it doesn't look that bad. I mean it kind of fits with the art style. Stay here if you want. Come on, guys. See you later. You know, Scoob, I can really go for a of course, fucking Casey Kasem voiced Shaggy for fucking years before he passed away. Like, even 
he, he stopped doing Shaggy's voice, and I'm pretty sure he was still on doing, like, for, like, other characters in Scooby-Doo. Oh. No joke, I think Don Knotts plays himself in this. I think Don Knotts is, like, actually in the game. And he's like, it's me, Don Knotts! And it's like, what? <laughs> Alright, here we are. Confirm or deny right now, is the audio good? I mean, not that it's gonna matter, because I'm gonna hop in the... Well, no, it will matter to the recording. You need 150 snacks. Okay. So, the, the I haven't played this in a long time, but the currency is Scooby, Scooks. Scooky snacks. 25 snacks. Okay. Oh, there's no autosave. Oh, my God. Guys. <laughs> That's fucking great. That's really great. Alright, do I have 25? No, I have 21. Did you? There we go, there's a 26. <coughs> yeah? Go to Ben. Hup, hup. Oh, I can't get that key. Where's Don Knotts? Show me the Don Knotts, man. I have 25 snacks. Gate unlocked. Good. X for excellent. Glamour in the Manor, part one. All right. Hello? Is anyone out there? We need some help in here. Yeah, I'm I'm here. I'm Scooby. Is anyone there? Oh, who's watching who? Yeah, I, that that was also a PSP game, I believe. I think that was one of the last Scooby-Doo games they ever made. Probably for a good reason. I'm so glad you found me. Oh, the subtitles now. Can't hear you over the music. Oh, hell yeah. Rumble feature, sound mode. Oh, fuck. Lots of options. Spooky bats. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah, uh, the old, uh. I forgot about the laugh track in this game. I honestly did. How do I use the... How do I use the book? I don't think I can. Oh, I forgot to hop in voice chat. Uh, give me a few minutes and then we'll, uh... We'll get on voice. Oh shit, is that the creeper? Is that a painting of... Cool. Fantastic. I don't know if I can actually get that yet. Ah! I'm gonna not try that again. Oh, I get it. Creeper. The spider web? Fucking laugh track is really good. Need the freshest helmet invention to bash through these webs. Okay, but how do I progress in the game? 
without them. I have a feeling I have to open this bookcase, but I don't know how. Honestly, I think I used cheats to get through this game when I was a kid. Where'd that bench go? Where'd that bench go? She was here, now she's not. Holy shit. I can't hear you, Don. I'm pretty sure it's buried around here somewhere, but you'll need a shovel. Here, take this. Get to work. That's him, guys. It's Don Knotts. If I turn down the music all the way, we'll be able to hear him better. Talk to me, Don. Ah, oh, his voice is integrated! Aw, oh, man! That's some bullshit. Uh, I don't know. I don't think the Grumps did, yeah. Don gave me a shovel and then I immediately didn't listen to him. Don Knotts! I'm a fish! Press X button while standing next to a flower patch. Okay, got it. I'm doing it, but nothing's happening. How the hell do I... Oh, there we go. Cool. All right, there we go. All right, got it. Rah! Gotta have my fucking sandwiches. Now Scooby's rude too. Mansions just make people rude. Rock root, Ragger. I found it, Don. Don nuts is. Inexplicably in this video game. Keep off the grass. Think you're wondering where the <laughs> Why is Don Knotts in this game and why is he Don Knotts? And why is he in this game? These are all viable questions. Shock on the dock! Alright, I'm in the stream room now. Don's here too! Ah, oh, damn it, he didn't talk here. Don't just stand there. Do something. All right, now he's now he's talking. Uh oh. That's not right. I gotta close out of Discord and come back. I'll be right back. Yeah, it's playing audio out of the wrong speakers. Someone better clean up this mess. Don is just Don is just yelling general things in my direction. Plus, what do you want from me? I'm a groundskeeper. Do I look like I got all the answers? If I did, do you think I'd be a groundskeeper? Oh, he's a groundskeeper. Groundskeeper Don Knotts. It's me, Don Knotts. Don't just stand there. Do something. It's me, Don Knotts. Hi, me. hi, Doodles, it's me, Don fucking Knotts. Remind me again who Don Knotts How is. dare you! We're not friends anymore. <laughs> I'm just not good with names. I probably know who he is. I'm I mean, just not yeah, good with names. Yeah, you probably do. Don Knotts was on a... He, he, he played the... He was a main character on... One of his first roles was fucking, uh... What was it? Uh, the Andy Griffith Show. And, uh, from there he went on to do other stuff he was in. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Don Knotts, that Don Wait, Knotts. how old is he at this point that he recorded this video uh, game? Good question. He passed away a few years later, I believe. I think he passed away in 2006. This was 2002. He I would have pegged him as 40 back when the Andy Griffith show was on, uh, and that was in black and white. Yeah, he looked pretty old. I'm not sure if he was that old, but he sure did look 40. I don't know. I think he always had kind of an older look. I'm not sure how old he was during the Andy Griffith show. I'll have to do the math on that. But, uh, yeah, he was in, a he was the main character in The Incredible Mr. Limpet, which was a movie I watched a lot as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. And he, uh... And I, I totally remember who he is now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't put, couldn't put the name to the face. He's also in my favorite fucking Herbie spinoff, Herbie the Love Bug. Yes. He's in my favorite I've watched channel. every single Herbie movie Have ever. you fucking really? Yeah. Holy shit. I wanted there to were quite a few. I, w I wanted to peg you for a Herbie fan. I mean, granted, I was like eight. Yeah, but I fucking love Herbie. <laughs> yeah, he was in Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo. He's the jewel thief, but he's like, that's a big rock! <laughs> it's just all around funny actor very good he only he only played one part and that was basically himself so come on skooks come on skooks come on skooks ah come on skooks oh i got that rat i fucked up that rat and a sandwich fell out of it <laughs> i wouldn't eat that yeah he's scooby-doo he give a fuck Rot row, Ritz blocked. The subtitles even said Ritz blocked. <laughs> I oh. gotta give this video game credit. They're staying incredibly accurate to the source material. Yeah! Like, scarily accurate. In this game is probably the best Scooby Doo game that they ever made. Like, it's. Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase, like, tried to stick to the whole. I think that's the thing. It's it's charming because this kind of sticks to the whole '60s Scooby-Doo charm, mm -hmm. and that that's cool. I like that. Scooby-Doo and Cyber Chase was more of a, you know, modernized Scooby-Doo. Yeah, it was. I would say it's more of an homage. What with the old levels. That's true. Um, you you did have Casey Kasem as Shaggy, which was the original Shaggy, and you did have. Frank Welker, who still fucking plays Fred. He's been playing Fred for like 40 fucking years. No, I guess it would be 50 now, wouldn't it? Good God. Yeah. You can look that up. He's He's been Fred in everything, I think, except for the live action movies. Yeah, what'd you say his name was again? Frank Welker. Frank Welker. Yeah. I gotta remember to Google him. Yeah. Later, because you know how I work at the weird 3D movie thing? Yeah. I'm convinced he's one of the voices. Really? Mm-hmm. He might be. He could be. I mean... I mean... He sounds exactly like Freddy. <laughs> could be. So... Along with being Fred... But it could be a sound alike. That's true. Along with being Fred, he's just... He's been voice acting for a trillion years. Mm -hmm. uh, Scoob. So what's the difference between this and Luigi's Mansion? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm. I don't know. This is more of a platformer, I guess. They're, they're both pretty good games. I mean, I haven't played this one in a long time, and I I just experienced Luigi's Mansion for the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Where's the caveman? They even kept the music. <laughs> I know, the sound effects. It's the laugh track that's really doing it. Yeah, the last... Every once in a while, when I hit something or run into something, a laugh track plays. It's not overly annoying, it's just really funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, Don Knotts is here again! <laughs> Looks like He's you need a little here. spring in your step. 
Looks like one of the professor's inventions at the end of the wharf. You can use the door behind me to get there. Good luck. It's funny, it doesn't have voice acting for all the lines, but, like, Don Knotts has, like, lines in the background. He's like, bait it, pup! <laughs> it's yeah. Like, all right. Oh. Oh, oh, fast travel? What? Fuck yes. Holy shit. This game's a lot more incredible than I remember. In what, Boop? Garfield has had many voice actors. Was it in Garfield and Friends? Because if it was in Garfield and Friends, holy shit. Frank Walker really did get around, didn't he? Does, I should say. I don't know how old the guy is. He's got to be getting up there. Oh, fuck, really? Jesus. That's crazy. Uh, Fred, uh, Frank Welker actually plays Scooby now. He didn't used to, but he, he plays Scooby now. Huh. Oh, shit. Interesting. I can't jump here. I think I need the spring shoes. Ow. Aha! Spring shoes! <clears throat> I might play through this one. <laughs> well, now I have double jump. Nice. Become the amalgamation, Scoob. We're Scooby now. <laughs> We're Scooby now. <laughs> Fusion is just a cheap tactic to make weak Scooby stronger. <laughs> Oh, okay, boo. God damn it, I fell in the ocean. Like Frank Scoop. This game's taking me back. Mm-hmm. I had a Scooby-Doo themed birthday for my 8th birthday. Did you really? Mm-hmm. Well, wait, what birthday was it? I just said it's my 8th. Oh, your 8th birthday, okay. I thought you said 18th. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no! I wish it was my 18th I... birthday. I... I don't think I can do it. I don't think I did anything for my 18th birthday. No? Or my 17th, or my 16th. Eh. I always did the school musicals, and they always happened, like, right around my birthday. I don't think I really... ...have had any birthdays in a while. Oh, that's sad. I mean, no! <laughs> I mean, I've had birth... I, my, my family celebrates it! Oh, I don't okay. have any. I don't have parties though, because all of my friends are on the internet. Yeah. If you guys want yeah, to come no, here? I mean, like, could... I mean, like, my family didn't even get a chance to celebrate. Oh, that's all right. That's sad. We, I don't know. We just we go out. We buy a cake. We go to like fucking Olive Garden or something. That's usually what we do for my birthday. No, and then finals week is during my birthday now. Oh, fun. So I was able to do something my freshman year because we weren't all dying yet. Oh we weren't all dying. Yeah. And still even then, like, the majority of the people said they couldn't make it because they were working on finals. And I'm like, just stop by and grab cake. And they're like, eh. 
But I, I, I had my homies show up. Your homies. The Far Squad. My homies. The Scooby Scooby Doo and the Mystery Gang. My homies. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I God, we were so close freshman year, and then like school got under gear, and then yeah. they graduated, and now I don't even talk to one of them yeah, anymore. Yeah, that happens. Oh, fuck. Don't worry, doodles, you got me. Yes. Or do you? Am I just imaginary? Um. Did you make me up? Nah, well, that would mean I would also have to have made up Boop, Brit, Tiff. Isu, God, you have a Feeny. really good imagination. You just like to work on a television show. You mean like what I'm working on right now? Oh fuck, you're right. Mystery solved. That's a real Skooks mystery. Oh wait, can I use the run as an attack? No. Make me up inside. Thanks, Boop. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I got japed. Oh, okay, Bert. Legitimately, I think the amusement park robot episode, we've talked about this extensively on stream. I don't know if you were here for that stream, though, Doodles. Um, I... Mm, I f feel like I was, because I remember what you're talking about, but I don't actually remember... That's fair. I mean... Shit. Um, this is an amusement park robot episode of Scooby-Doo that, uh, and the robot still gives me the creeps to this day. The end. That's the end. It's a pretty creepy robot. It's a pretty fucking creepy robot! He doesn't talk! He doesn't make any noises, he just stands there. Oh, I don't remember what the deal was. It was like, um... The guy was like, oh, I want the robot to help me run the park, yes. but then... It went his... haywire. Wife yes. sabotaged it because yes. she was a hoe. Was she jealous of the robot? I think. I don't actually remember. I mean, like it's been a last time I watched it, I was so drugged up. That sounds bad. Uh, <laughs> I was getting a tooth pulled as a kid, so they were like, "Do you want us to put on Scooby Doo while we?" Dose you up? And I was like, yeah, sure. And they put on that episode. Yikes. Drugs or not, it's still scary. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was Charlie the Funland Robot. But as I knew him as a kid, his name was Charlie the Fuckhead. Alright, maybe I didn't use that exact wording. Nah, I would I'd believe you came out of the womb swearing. How dare you? I didn't swear till I was like 14, dude. I didn't swear until 17 because that's when I started reading Homestuck. Oh, and boy. there was so much swearing in it you couldn't not afterwards. Like, I, I went on the Washington, D.C. trip with my school. Another thing I've talked extensively about on stream, where I had to be bribed by my mother with a Nintendo DS Lite to actually fucking go. Wow. I really didn't- Some hardcore bribery. I really didn't want to go. And she said it would be a very good experience, and I'm like, I'm not going. And she's like, I will buy you a Nintendo DS Lite. And I was like, alright, fine. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, uh, I was roommates with some kids, and, uh, they watched Adult Swim, and I'd never watched Adult Swim before, and... Oh, uh, yeah. I, I had my first experience of Robot Chicken and Family Guy, and I liked them, and I was like, alright, I guess I'm just rude now. 
<laughs> Alright, maybe that wasn't the exact wording, but might as well. For but... me, it was Futurama. Really? Yeah. Futurama didn't also even... on a Washington, D.C. trip. Futurama is pretty tame. Yeah. I mean, compared to Family Guy and Adults and Robot Chicken, Futurama is pretty tame. Yeah, but I was in fifth grade. Oh, so that was yeah. a big deal. I suppose. That you were also on a DC trip? Yeah. It's a weird coincidence. Yeah, I was uh, invited to the Junior National Young Leadership Conference. What? Were you some sort of nerd? Yeah. We don't allow nerds here on this group. You should have told us this beforehand. I'm afraid you're going to have to be kicked out. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to disband the whole group then. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, are you saying nerd. what I think you're saying? Were they all? Were you all nerds and you never told me? This group is fucking disbanded. Is that Don Knotts again? It is. <laughs> Hi, Scooby Doo. Here are two of the professor's inventions: the slippers and the lampshade. You can use the slippers to sneak quietly past monsters by pressing the Z and R button at the same time. That's a bit. You can use the lampshade to hide from monsters by holding Z, but, uh. Is he literally just putting a lampshade on his head? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about it. I forgot, Good. I forgot about it. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't even listen to how to do it. I gotta do it. Ah, oh, come on. Don, tell me how. Uh, Z and R button at the same time. That's kind of clunky. Right? Z and R is kind of clunky. Uh... Oh, okay. So it's Z and R while walking is the slippers to sneak past monsters. And Z and R standing still puts a lampshade on my head. And Scooby's legs are trembling. <laughs> This is a good fucking video game. <laughs> Alright. Good, good, good. Question, how many times can I listen to the fucking Skyrim theme before I go insane? <laughs> Fish. <laughs> I actually don't remember the tune. I remember there were men chanting in the beginning of the game. And... I haven't played Skyrim in months. I, I told you the story about how I stayed up until 4 a.m. playing Skyrim yes. the other day, right? Yeah, the other day. Like it's fucking 2011. <laughs> Doodles is secretly really Todd Howard. Look, I'm not gonna deny it. My Skyrim obsession is back in full force. Oh boy, I sure do love this video game that Todd Howard's been putting out for the past six years. It's still the original vanilla <laughs> copy, though. Oh, Jesus, really? I haven't modded it at what? all. What? How, how do you play this game still? I don't know how to mod. It's I don't know how to- like, Workshop content! <laughs> Are you not playing the Steam version? I am. I just... You just go in the workshop! <laughs> I never figured out the workshop. Stop yelling at me. You've never figured out the workshop. Here's what it is. You press search. That's it. You find a but mod like, that looks how cool. Do I... It's a button that just says subscribe, and it just subscribes, and then it installs it by itself. The workshop makes, like, everything way too easy. Back in the day... When I wanted a fucking mod on KOTOR 2, I'd have to fucking go on the KOTOR 2 mod forum and, like, extract it into the game files. But with Steam- I actually had to do that with Dragon Age. Ryan, there's no Skyrim Workshop. There used to be. Hi. Did they remove the Skyrim Workshop? Um... I don't remember... I... There should be a sky. Okay, let me let me back out of the main menu before the chanting things can go crazy, first of all, and then I will go look at the workshop. 
Okay, I, I want to say something real I'm checking quick. it. You know I'm checking like, it, too, because I'm curious. You, you know how my cousin calls me and talks my ear off for 45 to, minutes to an hour at a time? Yeah. I just made the, the good decision of mentioning that I have Discord. Oh. Oh. <laughs> how convenient. Well, now you get down. Uh... So now I'm friends with him on Discord. <laughs> okay, so browse the workshop. There is day. no, there is no workshop for Skyrim. Oh. There used to be a workshop. There There's, definitely was a workshop. There definitely Skyrim. was that's, a workshop, and it was good. This, that's how the Space Corps, like, official Valve... Yeah, that's, that's how the Space... Thing. Yeah, exactly. There definitely was a workshop, like, four months ago when I played the it game. It was the original Steam Workshop, too. Oh, fuck. There was a workshop, like, not that long ago. Like, last time I played. That's fucking weird. They must have taken it down for that stupid, like, paid-only mod thing that Bethesda's oh. all about. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, Special Edition doesn't have one. Oh. Uh, um, normal one has it. No! I found really good Workshop mods for Skyrim. Are you playing the uh, remastered doodle? Nope. All right, then you should it's have. Right now. Then you should have workshop. I don't even. Oh, fuck. I don't even know where to start. Oh fuck. So you're you're modding Skyrim? No, well, we were talking. I am now. We were talking about mods because Doodles has never played modded Skyrim. Uh, let me find this. Let me find the Skyrim workshop, and I can find you some really good. And by good, I mean bad. No, Skyrim don't. Mods. No, 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 no. I'm still on no. my first playthrough. No, I don't mean like bad, bad. I mean like interesting ones. Wait, like, I don't I want anything that's going to be lore breaking. Okay, so a barrel of legs would probably not be. Wait, what you're looking for? Wait a second. Shaggy just fucking showed up in a lawnmower, and now we're riding on his lawnmower. <laughs> he was like, hey, school, better hop on quick! I feel like, I still feel like this game's too dark. Ah. Ah, cuck. Ooh, there's a mod that can silence Yarn Balgroff's kids. I'm telling you, there's some good ones. <laughs> it's a good one. I want, however, I want. Oh wait, no, that said ah. it was DLC. It was like Hearthstone or something. Uh, isn't Hearthstone a card game? Yes. Um, no. All, all, all I know is that without it, I can't properly adopt children. Uh. Oh, yeah, Hearthstone, the, the DLC. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah does Hearth that cost money? Hearthstone is a, a card game, but it's also the Skyrim DLC. Does it cost yeah. money? Yeah, that's... I believe so. God damn it. If anything, it should be fairly cheap at this point. I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> Bazinga Shout is apparently a mod. Uh, oh, is Hearthstone <laughs> free? Ooh. Hearthstone is the card game. Oh. Heart fi Hearth Fire. <laughs> okay, got it. I don't fucking know. I'm trying to mess with the brightness settings, but I can't get it to where I want. A mob of Talos worshippers? Shit, this game is dark. <laughs> and edgy. There's a lot of kingdom By dark hearts. and edgy, I mean it's very dark and... and fucking... <gasps> Playable children! Rainy. Playable children? 
playable children. There we go, that might be a little better. Hey, Scoob! Better hop on quick! There are thousands and thousands. Nah, it looks bad still. Thousands and thousands? I gotta know. Well, thousands and thousands of what? Mods for oh. Skyrim! Yeah, of course there fucking are! It's the only way I'm able to play that game for more than five minutes. Alright, come on, Shags. Let's see, I can sort at least. Um. Ooh, clothing. You're gonna find some weird ones, by the way. You're gonna find some good ones, by the way. Yeah, but there's gonna be like anime titty follower. Oh yeah, yeah. I've already seen quite a few of those. Yep. That'll happen. The fucking horny boys. This is cool. NPCs, mouths, models, textures. Let's throw in miscellaneous, cause why not? Uh. What does E and B stand for? That's a good question. I do not know. Oh, there's Hearthfire. Can you just download it as a mod? No, Hearthfire is a section. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I think they'd probably take that down, Brit. <laughs> this is a mod that lets you adopt children. Ah! Uh! <laughs> that exists. It's called You Have to Pay Us Money. Right, Jaggy. There's a mod that's just an extra apple at this one specific location. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant by some good ones. I like how Shaggy isn't um, like in this game. In this game, he shows up at random points to help Scooby, and then just leaves. <laughs> It's a mean greenhouse, Scooby-Doo. I'm still playing this. <laughs> yes, you are. I don't know, this... I mean, I guess they knew what they were doing. This is a pretty fun game, still. It's like Doodles and I were talking about. It's just... Oh, right, you had your headphones off. We were talking about how it, it's charming because it's like the 60s Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it uses the old sound effects and the music and shit. It's, it's good. Plus, Britt, I don't know if you saw my, my sneaking tactic in the game. In I which Don Knotts really gave me a lampshade and slippers, and now I can put those on and hide. <laughs> what the shit? Oh, and acrobat. And acrobat. <laughs> Wizard. Fighter. And acrobat. Like 20 minutes before you got home because he was being impatient. Waiter? Monkey Butler? Table setter! <laughs> this game's essentially just a collect-a-thon, but I like it! <laughs> I tell you what, this this game company, the I always forget the name, Ironforge. No, that, 
I don't remember. Uh, they, they had a lot of, like, hidden good games. They made the SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Xbox game. Oh, cool. And that game was fucking great. They, they, they made a lot of hidden gems, this company. A lot of hidden gems of my childhood. They really excelled at it. Spooky monster. It's an attic. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an attic. A man. A Joshua man. His name, name was Joshua, Joshua man. man. There was a man. A Joshua man. Joshua. Named Joshua man. Doodles, was it you yesterday in voice chat that went, it's an attic, and you were like, I still don't get that, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was me. <laughs> so we finished fresh last night, as I'm sure you saw. Yeah, I, I believe I was in the room with you yesterday. That's true, you were. It was fucking good. You saw that creature, Brit. Oh, me I like the plant bulb. Yeah. No, not the plant bulb, the fucking whale, the sperm whale thing. Yeah. You know, you. Mm hmm. Ho ho. Oh, Mina. I can't even remember the name of the fucking thing. Oh, well, I didn't it. It's a whole bunch of H's and U's. It was a great... It was a great finale and a great show. <laughs> Craftable. Milk steak? In Skyrim? <laughs> uh, milk steak. M mil milk steak? I'm just gonna put down steak! I'm just gonna put down steak, Charlie. J jelly beans. <laughs> milk steak with a side of jelly beans or whatever, Charlie's. What is milk steak? <laughs> you know, milk, you know, milk steak, and you put, you put the milk on the steak. I'm just gonna write oh. steak. I'm just gonna write steak, oh. Charlie. What, what's your favorite hobby? Magnets. <laughs> what? What? Playing with magnets or? <laughs> Brit, you've seen that scene, right? I. I don't know. And you've never seen that scene? <laughs> Tiffany and I talk I about that scene all the time. They're trying to set up a dating profile for Charlie, and he's. <laughs> And Mac and Dennis are asking him all these questions because they're filling it out for him because he's obsessed with the waitress and trying to get him a girlfriend. And he's like, they're like, what's your, what's your favorite what's your favorite hobby? And he's like, uh, ma magnets. And they're like, what collecting magnets or playing with magnets? And he's like, I'm, I'm magnets. <laughs> Is there another burger left? Okay, cool. I'll warm that up here in a minute. Wait, Frank Welker voiced Pascal and Maximus from Tangled. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, he does the he does the animal voices. It's him and D. Bradley Baker that do a lot of animal yeah, voices. Yeah, D. Bradley Baker, aka Atlas and Peabody. I know. He does a lot of mm -hmm. weird voices. Oh shit, there's the helmet. Nice. 
I was I was going to bring up D Bradley Baker, but you already did. Yeah, he. I mean, he's like the master of weird voices. He's Perry the Platypus. What, what's going his IMDb? Oh, uh, that's on. what I'm doing right now. Uh, he's the tiger and Abu from Aladdin. Who are we talking about, D? No, 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 Frank Welker. Oh, Frank Welker. I'm, I'm on. I'm on D Bradley was, Baker. He was Goddard and Jimmy Neutron. Yes. What? D D, D Bradley Baker was uh, Cinnamon Bun in Adventure Time. Didn't know that. I didn't know that either, actually. He was every animal ever in Danny Phantom. <laughs> yeah, crows. That sounds, yeah, that sounds about right. Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo. Yeah, the yeah, there's the, in Mulan. there's the Scooby Doo. Uh, Deep Bradley Baker, Star vs. the Verses of Evil. Additional voices, Bald Eagle, Giant Spider, and it gets cut off. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't have that yet. I think I have the backtrack um, now. D. Bradley Baker voices lion! Yes. And centipedal. And centipedal. Great. Apparently That's one. there's a V-Bear Bear's uh, character called Demon. And Oh yeah, that was a dog. Uh, yeah, D. Bradley Baker voices Demon. That was, uh... That's one person that's probably never gonna be out of a job, is D. Bradley Baker. That's probably why Frank Welker's still doing D D shit. D. Bradley Baker is uh, also credited as Pascal and Maximus. That's. Oh, it might be on the show. Uh, Tangled Ever After. Yeah. Before I'm yeah. Out of the TV okay. movie. If you can't have one, you're gonna get the other one, apparently. Yeah, exactly. He was the D. horse Bradley from the Bradley Road to El Dorado. Was, was he really? In the Legend of the Hidden Temple TV movie 2016, he voiced Olmec. <laughs> nice. I mean, D, D was... D Bradley Baker did Perry the Platypus, and that it really speaks worlds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, he voiced Waddles, too. <laughs> Also not surprising. <laughs> Guess what he also voiced. What? There is a TV short for Monster in My Pocket. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> enough. Enough already. <laughs> Come on. Um... Saints Row got out of hell. All he of also... the super scary demons. <laughs> he that's, also... that's how it's credited for D. Bradley that's Baker. Really All of good. the super scary demons. He also was Slimer in the real Ghostbusters TV show. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, D. Bradley Baker voiced Naga in The Legend of Korra. In the Back to the Future, the ride, he voices the Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Oh my god! How can you be credited for a theme park ride? That's fucking stupid. Wait. Ugh. Who was Max oh. and the Little Mermaid? I don't know, probably the show. No, it's the movie, 1889. Oh. Max, Max, Max. There's probably some fucking animal. Oh, dear God. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot, that's the prince's dog. Yeah, D <laughs> yeah see? D. Bradley Baker, credited for it, but it doesn't say what voices he does. Doom 3, BFG edition. All of the aliens. <laughs> probably. Huh? Uh, he did voice people in Dungeons and Dragons. Of course, TV series. And Acrobat! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna he be right back. Did Baker okay. voice Sanjay in the Fairly Odd Parents? Who the fuck was Sanjay? Oh, that shitty guy, yeah. Oh yeah, well, that was him, actually. Come to think of it. And Elmer. And Binky. I'm Elmer! Jesus. Yeah, I can hear that. Oh, 
fuck. I'm gonna be like the number one speedrun holder for this uh, game. Of course he voiced the dog in The Mighty Bee. Of course. Well, of course. Of course. The Toilinator? <laughs> Steve Bradley Baker was the Toilinator? Who was who? Uh, Codename Kids Next Door. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's Atlas and Peabody. Atlas and Peabody is after the Toilinator? Uh, yeah, actually, the Toilinator was Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion. Oh, okay. 2011, and then a little bit earlier on is Portal Probably a game. Yeah. Uh, Appa and Momo. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, and, Curry... and Naga! <laughs> keep and that, Naga. keep that in mind. <laughs> The guys voiced all of the Avatar's fucking friends. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Uh, infected jockey charger. <laughs> no! Yeah? God damn it. You fanboying chum chum, I forgot about that. Oh, my favorite show! Brett, how dare you? That's my favorite television show. Oh, what? Oh. Dee Bradley Baker was Squilliam Fancy Son. Who? Uh, Squidward's like. Oh, Squilliam. Yeah, I got it. Doors locked, Scoob. Zoink, Scoob. Door machine broke. Uh, various voices in Spore. Yeah, that makes sense. Chalk though. <laughs> Old man this year, bull snap sculptor, it goes on. What? Uh, D. Bradley Baker voiced, uh, just miscellaneous people in Chalk Zone. Oh, yeah. Understandable. Uh, rat from Chowder. And I think I know exactly what rat that is. Ah! <laughs> Probably the, that's rat. probably the rat that they delivered the wrong order to, right? Uh, a uh, rat sandwich. Oh, even worse! Yeah, a uh, hat customer and customer number two. Isu still hasn't seen Chowder. We need to show Isu Chowder. I know, seriously. Um, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, a character called Chi Chi? Oh, it's a, All it's right, a bye, video boop. game. Mate, mate, boop. Um, it doesn't say who he voiced, but he was also in the Emperor's New School. Oh, great. Probably some animals. <laughs> the Grim Adventures of the KND. Wait. Is, is he the delightful children? He's probably one of the delightful children. One of them was Cree and one of them was Great Alile, I believe. I, yeah. It was yeah, just I it know. was just an amalgamation of all the voice actors. Oh, he was a uh, he he was in Kim Possible. Wait, wasn't was No, wait a second. Wasn't D Bradley Wasn't D number 4? Yeah, actually, he yeah. started in his number four, too. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's, he was number four. Um, I think I've had just about enough of scoops he's also, for the night. <laughs> he's also Mandy's dad. From oh, Mandy. Jesus. I forgot if Mandy even had parents. Yeah, they're afraid of her. Yeah, oh, that's right, she got carried off by wolves as a child. Uh, he was in Halo 3, Kim Possible, Danny Phantom. American Dragon Jake Wong. Hells yeah! He American Dragon! He was a leprechaun. Nice. Alright, I'm done with Skooks.